Welcome everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly debug an Oracle store procedure using SQL Developer. SQL Developer is your free Oracle database graphical user interface, but it's also your free interactive development environment for PL SQL. So I'm connected to a 12C release 2 database. I have an existing store procedure here called debug1 that I'm going to use for demo. Please don't uh, look too much at my code. It's just here for demonstration purposes. I'm going to show you the mechanics of the debugger, how to use a watch, how to use a breakpoint, how to trace in and out of a store procedure, and how to change and interact with your runtime environment during debug. So once you have the debugger itself configured, um, which I'll have instructions for and a link below in the comments, uh, all you need to do is connect to your database, open your store procedure, Make sure that it is compiled for debug. You'll know it's compiled for debug if you see this little green splotch. It's supposed to represent a bug. It's an overlay on the store procedure object. Then you hit the debug button. So my store procedure doesn't have any inputs, so I don't really need to do anything here to set up the execution scenario. I'm just going to say go. And then the debugger is going to attach to my local a copy of SQL Def here to um, allow me to do the, the debug steps. My uh, debugger toolbar is in two places. It's up here in the main toolbar and I've also got it repeated down here below where there's some debugger panels available. Over here to the left I have my call stack so I can see I'm on line one of program debug one. And the current executing line here is marked with this red, red arrow. So what most people like to do is uh, do step execution. So as I step here using this button, or F8, it'll go from one executable line to the next. So I jumped clear from line 2, which is executable because of this assignment of a value, down to line 4 of this begin block. So I have a cursor I'm defined here as a select star from employees. I now have about 150 employees. And I've got a for loop here that processes um, the items in that cursor. So what I would like to do is see what happens when I get to, say, the 15th or 17th iteration of this for loop. So what I'm going to do is add a breakpoint here on line 7, which I do simply by clicking on uh, the number 7 in the gutter. By the way, if you don't have your line numbers, you simply right click in the gutter space and you can turn these on and off. Okay, so what I want to do is set a breakpoint, but I don't want to break on each iteration of this loop and have to step through it 50 times to get to employee 50. So I'm going to mouse over my breakpoint here and you can see I can assign a break pass count for the breakpoint. So this says for the breakpoint to be evaluated, oh I can type in here too if I want. So um, each time this line um, is evaluated, if this breakpoint condition evaluates to true, then it will actually stop. So with that set, I'm going to say resume, which means it'll run until we get to that point. So I'm on employee 149, so if I go look at my employees table, employee 149, I'm an employee number 50. So things that I can do while we're stopped here, um, I can hover over um, these objects to see what they're equal to. So that might be easier than adding a watch. Uh, if you want to add a watch um, on an item, you can right click and say add watch. You can also manually add them here. This data panel is nice. It automatically shows me the values of everything that I have going on in the local uh, space of the PL SQL that's running. Um, the other nice thing I can do is I can interact and change things here. So what I'd like to do now is uh, interfere with this scenario and change the value of this variable names. 
So I'm going to say right click on the watch and say modify value. I'm going to change this to my name. And add this to it as well. And so that's actually changed it in, um, in the context of this program running. And I haven't had to manually um, write any sort of code in there to artificially create that scenario. I've used the debugger to make that happen. Now I can continue stepping through this until we get through all of the records, but that's going to get boring. So what I'm going to do now is um, disable this breakpoint. And I'm going to add another breakpoint here where this program hello is going to get called. So I'm going to say resume. And now instead of stepping over this, I'm going to step into it. So now I'm able to debug the procedure program. So I can see here on my call stack that I'm now on line one of hello, and then I came from line 11 of debug one. So I can look at X if I want. So X is equal to hello there. I can change that too. Now when I'm done messing around with this program, I can either step through the rest of it, or I can say um, step out, which just means basically finish doing what you're doing here and go immediately back to where we came from. But I'm going to step over to the entire program. And then we came back to where we started, except now we're on the very last line of the program. And we're done. And you can see here where we've been doing some DBMS output. If we come back here to around employee 50, we should see where I changed the name to Jeff Smith Debug. Um, and you can also see here where I added that string here for debug. So I changed that um, where we were in the hello program. So that's a quick overview of the debugger. Uh, you can set breakpoints with pass counts. You can watch uh, your PL SQL variables and constants. You can even change the values of those. And you can step in and out of programs. And you can keep track of where you're coming from and where you're going to with the call stack window. Thanks very much and happy sequel diving out there.